Hello, uh, Angel with Guardian Home Inspection here. I'm going to try to remove uh, an electrical panel depth front cover at a townhouse, condominium, one story, um, and it's painted. Uh, a lot of times we ask the seller, the seller's not here, it's a vacant house, um, to remove the electrical panel. It might cause chipping and damage. So it, it's not easy to do. So I'm going to try to do it as neat as possible. Um, the main electrical panel breaker at the meter is located at, at the exterior. So this is basically considered a sub panel, but um, in order for me to look inside, um, I'm already seeing that the breakers are sort of like the Federal Pacific stab lock that they stick out on one side, stick out on the other side. Uh, so sometimes I have to, you have to turn the breakers off to open the panel. This one, I'm gonna try to just wiggle it out. So let's see if I can do it. It's gonna be tough to get over here on this side, but. Uh, uh, I'm gonna see if I can do it. Uh, so first I, I score it with the utility knife. And I try to be very careful. And it's gonna leave some marks, but uh, it's part of the job. And then, you know, I, these gloves that I use uh, are rubber, so I don't touch electrical panels without rubber gloves. Uh, this appears to be sealed with caulking, so it's gonna be tough, but I'll try. I know a lot of inspectors um, say, oh, if you're going to uh, mess with an electrical panel, make sure you touch it um, with your hand on the backside. I don't think that's too cool because if you have a ticker, you could tick it and say, okay, it's not live. And then you have rubber gloves. So that way, if it is, you're not going to get electrocuted. So um, let me get on this side. So never, I would never touch an electrical panel without gloves. There was one time I was doing some... Uh, work, uh, some training with some Department of Water and Power guys, and when they install service to a property, they wear a full face shield, big old rubber boots, uh, rubber, just they're huge, and big rubber gloves. They're like this. So that's like OSHA requirements for them to do it. So uh, for us, obviously it's different, but we have to kind of protect ourselves because we touch so many electrical panels, one of them is going to be live, you know? So I kind of try to get to that, get to this one. Eventually one's going to be live and you can have a little accident. You don't want that. Obviously we do have insurance that protects us, but we don't want to use it. So there it is. I'm gonna to try to take this puppy off. And normally I take off the bottom screws. Uh, I have a belt that has a lot of holes on it. Just put them in my belt. And you know, I carry a tool belt. A lot of inspectors, I don't know if you do, if you don't, but I have pretty much everything I need uh, on my tool belt. Uh, sockets, testers, so everything is there, you know, flashlight, boom, quickly get in there. Uh, you know, time, we're on a time constraint. So at this point, I'm gonna try to just peel it off, see if I could do it without damaging too much. And a lot of times it just acts like a hinge. And I could just peel, boom, off. So there you go. A lot of times you'll get nervous, oh, you know, nice house. This is a, a $900,000 property in uh, Woodland Hills. So, a lot of times you will uh, be hesitant to ruin anything. So you just gotta be careful. Use clean gloves, you don't wanna leave a lot of fear. So you know, while, while we're in here, I'm looking at the main electrical conductors. Uh, they look fine. 20 amp and a 30 amp for the HVAC system looks okay. It's nicely inside. They're all, there's no double taps. And I see there's a white neutral wire coming into breaker. I'll note it. I don't think it's a big issue. And on the sub-electrical panels, the neutral has to be isolated from the electrical panel. And I'm looking at that, I don't see any clips or conductors that are in contact with the panel. That's good. The ground is looking okay. Uh, they're all single lug. And uh, I have thermal imaging. Um, a lot of times I don't even like to mess with it. I just take my thermometer and I hit it uh, with my thermometer. and. Uh, I'll, I'll get a reading if it's too high 
uh, then I'll get my thermal imaging. Uh, normally, it'll be in the 70s, 80s, 100 range occasionally when the thermostat, when the heating is on, but it looks okay. Uh, so that's where we're at, and I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, uh, so panel looks decent. I don't see any issues. No exposed knockouts. Uh, it looks pretty clean. A lot of townhouses will have paint overspray. Not a big issue, but it could cause conductors to overheat. So I take a picture, I note it. This one looks pretty clean. Um, I don't see any burnt scorches. All the breakers look decent. Uh, they're Challenger breakers, 30 amp, 30 amp, 15, 20, 20. Uh, this one's not labeled, but uh, not a big issue. And that's it. Uh, obviously, I don't touch anything in here. Shouldn't, there's no reason to. Just doing a visual inspection and uh, so I look at the size of the rating of the electrical panel box, 125 amp, one phase, and it's labeled kind of crudely, but it's labeled, so I'm done. Uh, this electrical panel really didn't have much going on, so now to get this back on, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So then here's my screw, boom, pop it in, and then uh, it has sharp tip screws, I'll milk that, you know, little things. Sometimes it's annoying to know little things like that, but it's part of the job. So there's going to be evidence of me being in here, definitely. But minimal, minimal evidence. So that's that. Let's try to get this one. Sometimes you have the buyer hovering over you, which is good, and that's why you just have to do your job, get in here, be as neat as possible, and show them that you know what you're doing. Um, don't jump to conclusions, don't say uh, before you investigate. A lot of clients will walk around with me and, and say, what's this? And I'll say, hold on, I haven't got there yet, uh, let, me, let me take a look at it. And you observe what you see, you look, you test, and you make your informed decision. But you don't just blurt out what what's coming out of your head, because sometimes it just doesn't work. So there it is. So there is the main electrical panel. Uh, yeah, little marks. Hey, you could clean it if you wanted to, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm leaving it. Uh, so that's that. Doesn't look that bad. There you go. That's how uh, I take care of uh, opening a main electrical panel box at a condo or a town. And usually, 90% of the time, you'll find them in this condition where uh, they will uh, be painted. So this one had the towels. So I can do this, clean it up. And this would be going you know, above and beyond, but boom, done. Uh, very limited inspection with limited damage. Uh, 